I'll be sharing results and highlights from our five minute mandala art challenge, including the five prompts, tips, and sharing who are the contest winners for two of my courses. If you're just now finding this video, you can still participate in the free challenge by downloading the workbook below. As many of you know, my main hope for this challenge was to carve out a little bit of space for us so we could have a more consistent creative habit. And that might look like just five minutes a day. And we also were doing it in the circular mandala shape as a way to have a container so we can move through some blank page syndrome and get started with more ease. This five day mandala art challenge is to help inspire and kickstart your creative practice. And of course, if you wanna dive in deeper, I have in-depth mindful art lessons, as well as writing prompts in my courses. I will of course be mentioning those if you wanna join me. No pressure if you wanna do just the challenge. So as you may know, we use the hashtag five minute mandala challenge for all of us to create and connect with each other on social media. I just wanna show an overview very quickly here and just say briefly that it was really lovely to see what everyone was creating. One of my favorite things about art challenges is that we have similar prompts, but we can see how each of us interpret them differently. As you followed your own creative impulses and that meant different materials, different shapes and patterns and completely different ideas. So I absolutely loved seeing that. I loved reading and seeing all of the insights that you had. And instead of me naming them, I wanna share a few highlights of some of the things you said as you did the challenge. Many of you talked about how this challenge helped you experiment with new art materials, how you found a little bit of mindfulness goes a long way, how practicing mindfulness has grown your self-awareness, has taught you self-compassion and self-acceptance, as well as helping you learn to trust your intuition. I love that. And especially that this made space for letting joy into your life. So many of you talked about the ahas you had with creating for just five minutes, that many of that sparked you into creating more things and that the bite-sized moments of creativity can spark a regular creative practice. There's something really lovely and tactile about being able to cut up paintings and prints. And as some of you mentioned, you felt more at peace or less stressed. Some of you even said it felt like a little therapeutic spark for your day. I love this person says it best, no art experience needed. It's a great short practice of self-care and exploration. I also love many of you are fascinated with where the process took you and that you found even the moments of watching watercolor swirling in water was a sweet mindful moment that felt relaxing. For now, I'm gonna dive into the winners of the contest. Wuppy 1980 has won my Mindful Mandalas for Relaxation and Self-Reflection course. This is the course that will not only walk you through the mandala process and materials, but more in depth, my writing prompts, which will help you to make meaning of your marks. So it was really lovely to have you join in. If you wanna reach out to me within seven days, I will get you set up for that course and I will DM you as well. Also the 30 five minute mindful art experiments. I'm so excited to say Cindy Purple Happy, fantastic name, is winning that course here. I just want to point out I really appreciated this as well where it says a growth mindset is trying new things with a focus on experience. So much of this challenge and that course that I'm going to be gifting you is about how to show up to our creative practice with mindfulness and curiosity to see what's here and to experiment. So hopefully you enjoy that. And again, I will reach out to you. I wanna share an extra bonus on top of our contest. I noticed that Kelly here continued on past the five mandalas. She made a comment in this post, still on the mandalas, the challenge has ended, but I still have the, the desire to create more. So as a bonus, Kelly, I'm also going to gift you my Mindful Mandalas course. Hopefully that will help you dive deeper into making marks with your images and making meaning of your marks. So if you haven't already, you can find me on Instagram at Mindful Creative Muse. I'll continue to share more posts about different practices with tips and my own process. For anyone interested in my two courses that are on sale as part of this challenge for a limited time, 
I'll have those linked below as well. That's for my Mindful Mandalas course, as well as my 35 minute mindful art experiments. So everything will be available in the links below. I will also be doing other challenges in the future. So if you have any ideas or things that you would like to see, please comment below. It's like planting a seed or a vote for future art challenges. Thank you so much for being with me here on YouTube. I love making these videos and connecting with you. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a new option. You can click on the thanks button and donate to help support some of these projects. Subscribe for more in the future and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy creating.